turn up his feet talking like Talbot. No real disgrace, but disappointing performance really on the whole over the 90 minutes. Yeah, I think so. I mean, 2-0. Um, I felt that we probably could have given it a better go than what we did. Um, I think we created things, but it was not really a cutting edge to the play. I thought conditions were difficult. I mean, it was a blowing wind around the park. The park got sort of heavy towards the end. Um, but we've gave two, two sloppy goals in the first half. Um, when we were under not a great deal of pressure during these times, and we've created some good chances and we don't get them. And do you know what? Over the piece, Hawker like deserve to win. There's no two ways about that. But we need to learn from teams like this because we've got some good players that do things well. And um, today, I don't think we had, I think it was 70 80% of our squad did well. Um, I think that the guys who didn't perform well, that, sometimes that's the difference between getting something out of the game. So we had needed everybody to be on our game and, and we weren't there today. And it's disappointing because it's quite funny as a Scottish Cup. It's really. It should take care of itself, but some poor performances, and that's for me what's when I said to have no regrets. There will be a couple of regrets in there because um, I think we could have done more and affected the game more in the second half. It is the cup it, at the start of the season, it's a lottery of how well you do in the Scottish Cup, it depends on the draw. That's gone, unfortunately. Now we've got a week off, bonus drawing with Hilford, so no game next week, which means fortnight till the next game that's not going to help is it no I think so I think this game was um, such a big build up to this game and whatever was going to happen but it was about what do we do next what's the next reaction and now obviously we're looking out for an, another game and obviously to hear that we don't have a game next week that's that's an issue because obviously we've got a number of games still to play so um, we'll just need to take care of that and, and maybe look to try and get a, a friendly from a team that's uh, lure and somebody that's not playing but we need to be playing games just now we need a, another game after that another game that can allow us to try and play a little bit more football to try and get the focus back in it because we've still got some massive games to play this season in the league and in two of the local cups As you said there was a few disappointing performances there was one or two decent performances as well usually many of the match Yeah I thought Alan Cormack and the goal pulled off some good saves I think um, John Roberts worked well and got on it, but I thought Ewan Buggins for me would probably be man of match. I think he, he he was up against two very good strikers and took most of it. I thought he handled really well. I think he, he took care of his, his own game and he was a lot of good contributions throughout the game. So there were some good performances that probably, like you say, John Roberts, um, Stephen Cook, um, Paul Barker working hard. Um, but yeah, Ewan Buggins would definitely be my man.